morning, parents. Welcome to the latest edition of our Monday morning meditation. Our passage this morning is found in Psalm 119, 105, and it reads there, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Uh, this morning, I want to speak on the subject of illumination. Of course, as we read that uh, verse there, we think about illumination, the word of God being a lamp to our feet, a light to our path, directing us in the way. Uh, but I would also think about how, you know, we have really many illumination points in life, uh, many things that make us uh, think differently and kind of inform our action for the future, the next steps that we're going to take. Uh, one of those kind of illumination points are commercials, right? We're watching television, we see a commercial come up and immediately, right, we think to ourselves, wow, this product that's being advertised is exactly what I need or exactly what I could use. And so it's a, a light bulb moment for us. And we think, okay, if I can just purchase this product and have this product, um, then I know my path forward. I know my future. I know that I'll be using this and it's going to be very helpful to me and serve me well. So the commercial become, becomes some kind of illumination point for us. Or maybe it's just a, a conversation with a friend. We're having a conversation with a friend. Maybe we're coming to them seeking advice. Uh, we're telling them about our current situation in life and they share with us how they have uh, managed the same situation before in their own life. Uh, they tell you about what they've done, how they've been successful going in this direction and taking this course of action. And so once again, it becomes this uh, light bulb moment for us and we think to ourselves, okay, great. Uh, now I know what I'm gonna do. Now I know how to think about this situation. Now I know the actions and the steps to take. And so our conversation with the friend becomes this illumination point for us. And as we just think about life and the world, we think that there are all kinds of illumination points out there. We talked about commercials, uh, our friends, well, there's the internet, right? there's the world, there's coworkers, uh, there's family. Uh, there are so many opportunities that we have to receive illumination and insight. But the question that we want to ask ourselves is this, is, well, how often is it the Word of God that is my illumination point? How often is it, it that it's God's Word that is forming and shaping my thoughts and that is telling me my course ahead and the path that I'm going to take in the future? Uh, before we know, there's, there's, there's tons out there. Uh, there's tons of other directions that we could take. But of course, as Christians, we want to make sure that, okay, it's the Word of God that is my main source of illumination and direction for my thinking and for my life and for my future ahead. And one of the ways that we get there is, well, how do we make that a true reality within our lives? Uh, one of the ways that we get there is just remembering uh, the treasure that God's Word actually is. So we learn here, of course, that it's a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Uh, what's being communicated then is Right, without the Word of God, that we actually, we walk in darkness. And, well, do we, would we rather walk in darkness or we, would we rather walk on a well-lit path? Of course, the easy answer is, well, we'd rather walk on a well-lit path uh, heading towards God. So, okay, it's like, all right, so the Word of God is valuable and it's this great treasure. And other ways of thinking about, well, how is the Word of God such a treasure? How is it valuable? Well, the Word of God is the brightest light. Uh, it's the brightest illumination point that there is in all the world. It's the one that shines brighter than all others. Okay, well, that, that makes it uh, valuable and a, a great source of light, a stronger light than any other lights. It's also the most pure, right? It's, it's a light that is undefiled. It's a light that's never going to get us into trouble, right? It's, it's, it's a light that's never going to lead us astray. And so the, the most pure light, when we think about other lights, well, sometimes, you know, advice from other sources and other people are going to fall short. May, they may even get us into trouble. Or beyond that, right, when we think about other sources of light and illumination points, they're always limited, they're limited in knowledge because it's human knowledge. Uh, they're limited in perfection because it's you know, human morality. Right? They're limited in terms of uh, morality because, well, people, people just aren't perfect morally themselves. Right? But when we think about God's word and it comes from God himself, well, that means it comes from a source that is 
that has all wisdom, that's perfect in knowledge, and then that's just perfect in being and perfect in morality. And so God's word then is this pure source of light, the brightest, the most pure. And it's also a light that will never get us into any trouble with God. And so that's a, another pretty big one, right? Other illumination points have the potential to get us in trouble with God. They may be helpful in some ways, uh, hurtful in other ways. They may lead us astray uh, from God. But God's word will, will never get us in trouble with God. And in fact, of course, we know that God's word will take us to God and will draw us closer to him uh, just in relationship. And so now God's word never leads us away from God and it never gets us into trouble with him. So these are three things that we can think about in terms of why God's word is such a treasure and so valuable. One other thing I want to say real quick is this, is that uh, the word of God, it just doesn't tell us like where to go, but it also tells us what to avoid, right? And so like it's this well-lit path. It's a lamp to our feet, a light to our path that where we can see obstacles in the way. We can see pitfall. We can see danger. We can see, you know, holes in the road, uh, things that we're meant to avoid. Things like unforgiveness or the love of money or the love of the world, sexual morality, envy, greed, lust, right? All these things, uh, the word of God illuminates for us and it's like, okay, I, I should not go down in that direction. I should not take that path. And so the encouragement that I want to give us and remind us today is, right, let the word of God be our illumination source. Of course, when it comes to parenting, right, let God's word be the illumination source for our parenting, showing us how to think, how to act, how to set the course of the future for ourselves and for our children. Let God's word be that illumination point for us. And next week, we're going to go into part two, and I'm going to talk about, well, how do we use the word of God as an illumination source? So today, we're just really talking about, well, it's an illumination source for us. But next week, we'll look at, well, how do we use it as an illumination, uh, uh, illumination point in the lives of ourselves and in the lives of our children? So I look forward to doing that with you next week as we continue to build faith in families. God bless.